Heavenly Father, we are before you, Lord, as we come to a climatic point in the eternal song that you are singing over your bride to awaken her heart to deeper devotion and desire. Every note that has been played in this season of the anointing has been fine-tuning our heartstrings to yours and engraving a new song on our hearts. Lord, never cease to conduct our heart to yours, that we may be instruments of your love and our lips overflow with your praise. Lord, you came down from Sinai with ten thousands of saints. From your right hand came a fiery law for your people. Yes, you love the people. All your saints are in your hand. They sit down at your feet. Everyone receives your words. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. You and your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. You will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which you have made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Be our strong refuge, to which we may resort continually. You have given the commandment to save us, for you are our rock and our fortress. Lord. You have been our dwelling place in all generations. The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before us and will say, destroy. Lord, you promised to be a little sanctuary to your people in the countries where they were scattered, a people whom you have set apart and protected as holy to the Lord who are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone in whom the whole building, being fitted together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom also are being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God, the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is Holy, the everlasting God, the master of eternity. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. You are the same, and your years have no end. And now I pray, let the power of my Lord be great, just as you have spoken, saying the Lord is long-suffering and abundant in mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgressions. Pardon the iniquity of these people, I pray, according to the greatness of your mercy, and fill the earth with the glory of the Lord. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, as raindrops on the tender herb and as showers on the grass. For I proclaim the name of the Lord. Ascribe greatness to our God. He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are justice a God of truth and without injustice, righteous and upright is he. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, and I heard a loud voice from heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, 
and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the saints. Who shall not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. For all nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been manifested. Be magnified, O Lord, in the hearts and lives of your people. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We pray, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, in your mighty and majestic name we pray. Amen. <laughs>